Sandra Cranford. No sign of severe weather on this beautiful Mother's Day. It has been so pretty. What a gorgeous weekend it has been here. And thankfully, I know people aren't really ready to talk about hurricanes and tropical storms yet, and there is nothing happening, as you mentioned, Devin, in the Atlantic Basin. Everything is quiet there. What we're talking about with that first storm is all happening in the other basin, the eastern Pacific Basin, where we do have tropical storm Andre. So here it is. Again, it's completely separate from the usual Atlantic season that that we talk about for the Gulf Coast, the East Coast, most of the US. In fact, most of these storms here form in this area. Sometimes they affect Mexico, but mostly they move out to the West and kind of get going here off the coast of Mexico. So here is Tropical Storm Andres. Again, it just barely is a tropical storm with winds now at 40 miles per hour, and you can see that it is forecast to continue uh, probably weakening from here on out as we get into the next few days and veer out to the west. So not a threat to land and really not that big a deal, but it is the first one on record over there. The earliest in a season, I should say, six days before their hurricane season starts, which is on May 15th over there. For us, it is still June 1st. And by the way, tomorrow was the day for the previous earliest first tropical storm over there in the eastern Pacific. For the Atlanta, uh, Atlantic, our first name would be Anna, and that hasn't happened yet. And thankfully, as I mentioned, no sign of that, but we know that it is forecast to be a more active than usual or more active than average season, hopefully not as active as last year. And as Devin mentioned, it is Hurricane Preparedness Week. What we will be talking about and covering each day this week is a different topic as you get prepared for the season, even though again, it doesn't officially start till June 1st. We'll be watching everything. So today is the day outlined by the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service to determine your risk. Just kind of think about evacuation zones. Think about your insurance policy, make your list of supplies and think about things you might need to do to prepare your home. And of course, keep watching WWL TV. We'll continue to cover this topic and different subtopics in the next few days. Also, we're talking about storms rolling in late tonight here in South Louisiana. Indiana. I will track that coming up in my complete forecast in a few minutes. Lots of important info. Thank you. Well, after more than a year of social distance, this Mother's Day is special for many people with a chance to spend 